Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video to further clarify on a hidden buff that Alex received in Season 2. Alex is now able to tick throw into his power drop command grab after a blocked hard flash chop. Now, Alex players did discover this hidden change uh, really early in Season 2, but we just didn't understand why, or at least I didn't understand why, until very recently Kakao Community has posted that they were missing some official notes in the patch note log, and one of them was that Alex's power drop startup is now 6 frames from 5, so now it makes complete sense, and I'm going to explain why it works and how to do it. So in case you guys aren't familiar with Alex, when he does his hard flash chop on the opponent and hits them, it makes their back turn to you, which puts them in a state where you can combo into your command grab. In fact, you can cancel into the power drop during the hard flash chop during its active frames. So slowing this down to 6 frames isn't going to make a difference at all because you cancel into this anyways, either from the sledgehammer and V-trigger or from a hard flash chop. So what happens if you cancel a hard flash chop when the opponent blocks it? If you cancel into the power drop then it simply whiffs because the opponent is still stuck in block stun and you can't throw an opponent out of block stun. Now here's where it gets interesting. When your opponent blocks your hard flash chop, you don't actually have to cancel into the power drop immediately. There's actually a very giant window where you can cancel into it. And in this window, if you cancel into it at the very very end, in Season 2, there is a single frame where your opponent finally recovers from block stun and you're now able to grab him. In Season 1 this wasn't possible because your power drop was 5 frames. It was faster. So what happened was, even though you cancelled it as late as you possibly could, your opponent was still stuck in block stun, but not anymore. So once again to do this, you have to cancel on the very last possible frame into power drop and you'll know you're successful because you throw him backwards rather than forwards. Now of course this means it's a one frame window to cancel into this, which means the timing is really tight. And you might think to yourself, man this is really impractical, what's the point of learning this? And it's true that it is hard, but you know, I sat down with this for like 15 minutes and really concentrated on the timing, and I was able to get it like 6 times in a row. So I think it's doable. And there's some pretty cool payoffs for actually learning this, which I'm going to explain in this video. And one of them is don't forget that Power Drop, the EX version, does 300 stun, it is massive. Also, this puts your opponent in a really funny mix-up situation where he's scared to block your hard flash off because he's going to get grabbed anyways, or if he doesn't block it, then you just combo into the grab. Okay, so you might be thinking, what if your opponent just mashes his fastest normal, like a 3-frame jab? Well, if your timing is perfect for the grab, then it won't matter because, like I said, he recovers on the same frame that the grab is hitting him, so even a 3-frame normal won't beat it. Another cool benefit is, of course, if you do a giant block screen and you'll build up all this great life, you can just cash out with an EX power drop. And keep in mind that the setups that you get after an EX power drop is the exact same that you get after an EX power bomb, so just use all the ones you know. One single setup with a V-trigger can practically cause stun. So what happens when your opponent gets conditioned and he starts mashing like a maniac and not letting you get your hard flash chop off? Well, you can instead go into your hard elbow. Then your opponent will end up taking more damage than he originally would have. Or better yet, what if your opponent just decides to jump because he does have one frame to act? Well, there's pretty much setups for that as well if you get a hard read. The biggest weakness to this setup, even after you mastered it, is if your opponent has a move that's throw invincible on frame 1. Then you're just absolutely screwed because the hard flash chop is minus 4 on block. And that's a wrap guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, hope you've learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the like button, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Till next time guys, I'll keep you posted on more fighting game news and videos in the future, so take care.